I'm here with another song using the baritone uke, um, the standard baritone tuning, which is a D, a G, a B, and an E. Nice and simple. This is the Crawl Dad song, uh, or you get a line and I'll get a pole. Um, strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Uh, it's going to be a G, C, G, C, G, D, and G. Let me show you the G first, just so that you can see how to play it. Right there. And then I'll show you the C, how you can play it. And there's the C. And I will show you this D over here, um, because you already got the other ones and how to do that. So um, pay attention, nice and simple. So we'll start out right here. I'll do it two different ways. The first verse I'm gonna do just regular old strumming like that. And then the second one I'll do a, and then hopefully you'll like it. And that's just down, up, stop, down, up, stop. And the way I'm doing the stop is I'm going down, up, and just touching it in. So it goes like this here. You get a line, now get a pole, honey. You get a line, now get a pole, my baby. Get a line now, get a pull away. Cause you're gonna grow big, oh honey, oh baby, oh baby. What you gonna do when the wind run dry, honey? What you gonna do when the wind run dry, my baby? What you gonna do when the wind run dry? I'm gonna sit on the bank and watch grow big, daddy, oh baby, oh baby. A lot of people say, oh, you go really fast, or this, that, or that. It's a video. Slow it down. Stop it. You know, look at it. Um, they say, oh, what are the chords that you're doing? Well, I put them right here so that you can see it. Freeze the video and take a look at it. Um, to make it really easy for you, you can just shoot me your email address at parsonz179 at yahoo.com, and I'll just send you the copy of the songbook, and then you'll have them all right there in front of you. It's got the strumming pattern on it. It's got everything in it. It's completely color-coded so that you can use the chord buddy the baritone uke, the ukulele, or the tenor banjo, and they all are on the same chords. Now listen, um, people give me grief all the time. Listen, if you learn chord structure, which is this shape right here, that shape, that's your G on the baritone. Now on the mandolin over there, it is a C, but it doesn't make a difference. Don't worry about the chord itself, worry about the structure. This is the structure right here, that chord. Worry about that one. Worry about this one, this one, and this one. Now that's a G, a D, an E minor, and a C. You could do tons of stuff. Rock me, mama, rock me, wang me, rock me, mama, in a way you feel. I mean, uh, Monday, Tuesday, happy day. Monday, Thursday, happy day. Friday, Saturday, come and go. Then the weekends all night long. Day go round. Happy day. But I mean, you could do tons and tons with just those four chords. That chord structure. Just the chord structure is what I'm talking about. When you get into naming the chords, then you get into problems whenever you change instruments. Just because you're a G on this one right here don't mean you're going to be a G on that one over there or that one right there, unless you're in the same tuning as all of them, which anyways, I don't want to get too complicated because I, I've got a whole video series put together that I, I'm, I'm going to be sending out really soon that's going to explain this in full detail. So anyways, pay attention. This is the baritone. Here's the tuning. It is a D, a G, a B, and an E. Right here's the soul, and it's a G, C, G, D, G, D. G and um, I mean uh, G C G C G D G and strumming patterns down pause down up down up okay times two y'all take it easy subscribe send me a text send me an email share and like the video let me know what you think and if you want to copy my songbook just shoot me your email address at parsonz179 at yahoo.com look in the description that's where it'll be and then um, I'll send it to you free of charge y'all take it easy and have a blessed day peace.